Hey gang, Jerry here. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I made this cute little desk lamp. Uh, it's perfect for any side table, nightstand, uh, office. Uh, features two electrical outlets that you can plug a laptop in and also two USB ports where you can plug your cell phone, iPad, or any other charging device that you need to charge up either at night or at the office. So stick around and I'll show you how I made it. Okay gang, so now I'm gonna go over the uh, components that you're gonna need to create today's project. Pretty simple. Uh, first, a uh, three-prong wire cord. Um, it's got three-prong on one side and then um, just some open wires on the other. This is six, six foot long. Um, of course, an electrical box with cover. Um, a, a switch outlet. It uh, has two uh, spots for a plug and then also two USB outlets. So you can plug in your um, iPhone or iPad or whatever charging device you want to charge. Of course, a light switch. Um, a wire clamp that goes in the back of the box, some assorted little pieces of jumper wire uh, to wire up the components, and we'll get into that later. Um, your lamp socket, two half inch T's with two half inch little pipe uh, adapters, some half inch uh, pipe nuts, and of course some uh, paint and primer. Um, I'm going to actually do this first, so it's going to have time for the cover to dry. I'm just going to paint the cover, uh, give that time to dry while we're working on the other components. And of course, a lampshade with a uh, lamp clamp that will clamp over your bulb. So I'll leave a list of all these components in the description below that you can actually purchase all these items. You know, I actually got them all off of Amazon. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to get started in painting our uh, switch cover. Let's do that. Okay gang, uh, what I've done, uh, I have a 3D printer and I printed up these four little uh, cones and this is just going to help. I'm going to place the, uh, the switch cover uh, actually on top of these cones and kind of get it off the uh, surface of my work surface here. And that way I can actually get the uh, edges uh, nice and covered with the uh, primer and then of course the paint. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to use the primer. And this is a, a, a SEM self-etching uh, metal etching primer. And I'm just going to go ahead and put a couple of really good coats on this. And then, uh, and then start uh, assembling the, uh, the lamp. And then while the lamp is, you know, while we're doing that and this is drying, I'll continue to hit it with the uh, primer and then, of course, the, uh, the base coat. So it'll have a good chance to dry when we do the final assembly. So let's go ahead and start um, doing a coat. Okay, so next let's go ahead and uh, wire up our lamp socket. Now this is how your lamp socket is going to come when you receive it. It's got an internal and then of course the outer casing. And then I also have two little pieces of jumper wire that we're going to need to wire this up so we can eventually wire it to the box. Now simply take this apart, you can unscrew the inner portion. You can see how it screws onto the little threaded tube here. We can actually unscrew that and show you. Kind of long. And there we go. So that's your threaded tube and then this is the basically the housing. So for the socket itself, is we're gonna connect a black wire and white wire. Black wire is gonna be your hot wire, white wire is your neutral. Now what I like to do is I like to wire the hot wire to the bottom uh, portion of the socket instead of the side. Um, and to easily figure that out, you can see that it attaches right here. So this is gonna be the bottom portion of the socket. So I can just back out this screw right here Take my wire, and I've already kind of had it, have it cut just a little bit on the end, so it'll kind of slide down in here, and then tighten it back up. You want to make this nice and snug. Give it a little tug; it's nice and in there. Now I'll do the same thing for the neutral wire. Go ahead and back out this screw. Take a neutral wire, slide it in a little hole. Tighten this up, nice and snug, and give it a little tug. So now it's nice and wired up. Now the next thing we can do is we need to kind of fish these wires through here. And get it through, there we 
go. And the hot wire. Okay. All right. So now we can go ahead and assemble. Now we take the, our wires and fish them to the bottom hole of the housing. We can take our threaded tube, fish the wires through it, start screwing it, everything back together. I can take this nut off. This nut's getting in my way, so I can take this nut off right now. So kind of screw this in approximately halfway. And then you can make sure that your housing or your inner uh, socket is actually screwed onto the thread and you'll feel when it gets nice and snug. And there you go. So not rattling around anymore. And there you go. You've wired up your lamp socket and now we can move into the rest of the box. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pre-wire our outlet and our switch. Now, disclaimer, I'm not a uh, licensed electrician, but I am gonna show you how I wire this uh, and I know it's gonna work. Uh, if there is any licensed electricians out there, uh, if you see something I'm doing wrong or something I should do differently, or if I did a really good job, please leave comments uh, below in the uh, comment section. I really love to hear what an actual licensed electrician shows on how I wire up this lamp. But I'm gonna show you how I do it and we'll go from there. So first thing is, like I mentioned, hot uh, wire, black wire is always going to go to your copper screw. <laughs> Uh, white or your common wire is going to go to your silver and of course green uh, is going to go to your ground So what we'll do is this actually has a diagram tells you how much wire to strip off uh, Insulation to strip off and it has a little gauge right there. It's about a little bit more than a half inch All right, so common wire or neutral wire We'll go ahead and we'll put right there Screw it in, nice and tight, give it a tug, it's good. Um, black or your hot wire, goes in right there. Again, nice and tight, good. And then green, uh, the green wire is what we'll do is we'll make kind of like a little loop on it. And then you want to make sure when you're tightening it, you're actually turning the direction of the loop. So it kind of like wants to pull itself together. Get that underneath. There we go. Tuck a little bit more. There we go. Nice and tight, get a little tug, it's nice. Okay, so my outlet is wired up. Now I'll go ahead and wire the switch. Now the switch is just gonna be an interruption on your hot wire. You can see you got the, uh, the brass color screws here. So what I've done is the switch actually has a top and a bottom. It's right here, it says top. So this is up, this is down. Now I'm gonna wire in my black wire, showing that this is my hot wire on the bottom side. Go ahead and tighten it up. Nice and tight, give it tugs, nice. And then this is gonna be my control side. Now it's also gonna be hot when you flip the switch, so I'm just marking it with a piece of black tape telling me that this is going to go to my hot connection on my lamp. Go ahead and put this in here. Tighten this up. Nice and tight. 
Good, good. And then, of course, the same thing with your ground wire. Go ahead and make, make yourself a loop. I'll get this pre-started. There we go. Put my wire in there. There we go. Come on. There we go. And tighten it up. Nice and tight. And good. Now we have our switch and our plug pre-wired. Now we can continue on with the rest of the assembly. Okay, moving on to the box. Um, I have a sticker down here and it's probably gonna be hard to get that off. So I'm just gonna leave it on and this is gonna be the bottom of my box, which is fine. Um, but what we're gonna do is we have to mount our lamp socket to the top of the box. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm gonna actually use this, the, uh, the threaded uh, tube that it comes with and the nut that it comes with. And this tube outside diameter measures about 400,000. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a 7 16th drill and I'm gonna drill right through the center of this plug. I'm gonna leave the plug in it, but I'm gonna drill through the center of the plug. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut a piece of wood to actually fit inside the block to support the plug as I'm drilling through it so I don't actually accidentally knock out the plug. And I'll set this up on my drill press and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so what I've done is I've cut a piece of scrap two by four that I had laying around and I cut it to the perfect width that'll fit inside my box and it's supporting this plug right here that I'm gonna drill through with my 7 16 drill. And we'll do that right now. <laughs> Okay, now let's start getting into some assembly. We'll take our, um, our T's and our little pipe threads and we'll just thread these into our T's and then get them nice and snug. And then first put on um, one of your nuts. Let's do the same thing to this one. of our nuts like that. like that now we're going to knock out these two plugs right here so just take a straight screwdriver and a hammer knock the side it's not it's not hinged down and then you can just take a pair of pliers and twist those right out now what we'll do is we'll start mining our legs, legs for the lamp. So we'll get another nut. And you, you don't want these to go in there very far because you want to actually have room for your um, uh, electrical socket. So just get it in there enough to where you got a couple of threads biting and then you can actually take a hammer and screwdriver and then tighten it right up. Same thing this one. Get the paper. Looks like our sticker did come off. Get this started. Tighten this one up. And tighten her up. Okay. Now our legs are in there, and it looks like actually it's sitting a little bit this way. So we're probably going to have to thread this one in a little bit more. That's okay. And we'll, we'll do that, and we'll get these leveled out. Okay. So we have our legs uh, leveled out where the box is sitting straight up and down. And next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna knock out this plug right here to accept our, uh, wire, our wire clamp. So let's go ahead and do that. I just 
but kind of like it to be straight. And then we can tighten her up. All right, nice and tight. All right. Next thing we can do is we can uh, attach our lamp socket and also fish our wire through the wire clamp. Okay, so let's go ahead and attach our socket, light socket, to our box. And we can simply fish the wires through the hole that we drilled earlier. Take our nut, fish it through the wires, attach it to the threaded tube. So, so, and then we can actually get, uh, we'll put a wrench on that and, and snug that up real nice and tight. Yeah. And now we can actually fish our wire through our wire cable clamp. Alrighty, so I have our um, six foot cord here and we're just going to go ahead and fish that through the back. Give enough wire so we can actually make our, our connections. And go ahead and clamp this down. Just run each screw kind of evenly down so you kind of get even pressure on the wire. Doesn't have to be super tight, but tight enough where you definitely don't want it to pull out. And you're clamping on the insulation, not the actual wires. And that's it. Now what we can do is the very next step is we can attach our plug and our switch to the cover and then pretty much finish wiring this entire thing up. Okay, so our cover is nice and dry and turned out really good. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna mount the outlet and the switch to the front cover and then we can do the final wiring and assembly. Uh, before I can mount this to the cover, we're gonna actually have to take off uh, a little bit of uh, these ears on the switch and the outlet. So it'll sit flat against the cover and then we can use some uh, bolts and screws to attach it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take uh, these off next. Okay, so we have our outlet and our switch uh, mounted to our front cover and I'm gonna walk you through the wiring. Now, these are the wires coming in from the cord. This is again, black hot, white neutral and green ground. Now we're gonna wire our black to black and then also this black to our hot coming in. So these, these two wires are going to our hot coming in. Our ground, all three of our grounds are gonna be wired together. And then for the, um, the light, two wires going to the socket, the white, white and white will be wired together. This wire, right here, the one that's taped with the, uh, with the black, is going to go to our black wire. So when we flip the switch, hot is gonna go through the switch, through this wire, to our hot wire, and then back to our ground. Now I'm gonna go ahead and wire this up and then show you one more time. Okay, so we're all wired up. Our, all of our grounds are wired together. Our neutrals are wired together. And then also, our hots are wired together, and then the one hot going through the switch to the white one that we tagged goes to our hot wire for our socket, and then of course that goes back to the neutrals which are wired together. Now all we have to do is tuck all the wires back, mount the, uh, the front, and we should be all set. Okay, now we have our cover attached. All we have to do now is put a bulb in it, put the lampshade on, plug it in, and start using it. All right, gang, so there he is. Uh, turned out great. And uh, if you want a complete uh, list of components that I use to make this uh, lamp, you can find that down in the description below. Also, as of today of making a video, I had 1,777 subscribers. So if you're already a subscriber to the channel, thank you very much. If you haven't subscribed, please hit subscribe. It really helps me out. 
click up that thumbs up button. It gives the video traction. And check out my Etsy store. There's a link below. And always, if you put your mind to it, you can do anything. All right, gang, take care. See ya.